I was, just asking, I was just asking why he didn't get a triple his last at bat. Ah, so. guys. That was kind of fun, huh? Salvi, what was Salvi? What was that ninth inning? Are the ninth inning like uh, for you? Uh, you know, Trevor obviously didn't have great command, but uh, hey, was, how thrilling was? I, yeah, I look into the Cincinnati Cincinnati dugout and I saw Moose. You know, and he like a hard to me like I love you, good game, and like and I tell me, hey, we've been in that situation before, okay? So it's no pressure. We're gonna get it, and he start laughing. You know, it's it's. It's one of the, I feel like, like playoffs game, every game like that, you know. It's, it's, it's excited. We just want to win. And Rosen to make a great pitch. He slide it down away on CC. And, and he hit it to Franco, and we complete the double play, and we win the game. Did you think it was a double play when it left the bat? I was kind of soft a little bit, so I don't know. CC run pretty good. But this guy plays super quick. So the, the difference we have, you know, Monday. Nicky Lopez is doing pretty good, yeah. So that was quick, and we, and we complete, and we win. How good are you feeling at the plate right now? Great. Thank God, you know, I, I feel great. Uh, just try to see the ball up a little bit and try to pull some good swing. So I feel good. Thanks, Salvi. Hey, Salvi, that, that um, double that you hit going to, to right center, that, that swing, is that to you? Do you look at a swing like that and tell you that you're really locked in at the plate? Especially this guy, you know, I, I feel like in all two count, one two count, you just you know, need to stay back a little, a little bit, be very careful with the slider. Uh, especially if you know the pitcher, he maybe can throw you a slider. So, but also you have to be ready for the fastball, so it's kind of 50 50, you know. And I think he leaves it on the play, a pretty, pretty good swing. Yeah, I feel good. What uh, what do you feel like has um, sort of got you guys on this role where it's five out of six? Like some guys have talked about that last game against the Cubs as maybe being a turning point. Do you feel like anything changed for you guys these last uh, this last? Hey, week? honestly, you guys, we have some some great pitcher, great starter, and we know they young. They gonna learn how to pitch in big league. Uh, and we're going to be good. I think they're doing pretty good job. Hopefully, continue to do the same job. Uh, and they have great staff, you know. And I think the energy is a little better in the, in the dugout right now, clubhouse, you know. We're having fun. We respect the game. We respect the other team, you know, and, and play hard. You know, as soon as we cross that door, we just need to play hard and, and hard, as, hard as we can to the night evening and see what happens. Was the having fun something that um... – you guys sort of had to make a point to to do a little bit more of. I mean, because the losing sometimes can can take a little bit of that away, right? Yeah, we we have to take it day by day. You know, the yeah, start of the season was kind of you know rough for us. For it's over, we don't have to think about you know yesterday. We got to yeah today it's over. We got to think about Friday now in Minnesota. You know, so you know how baseball is. So it's up and down. You need to be concentration. Something we can control. It's the, the energy, so different, you know, make some peace, try to make, try to block some, the ball behind the home play. All, all the little stuff we, we can control, we got to do it. Thanks. Hey, Salvi, that, the play when the umpire got hurt, you were right there. What did you hear and see on it, and uh, what did that look uh, like to you? I think he, the middle, I think it was the middle, middle finger of this one. Uh, we we'll go foul opening. Kelly, you know, call a little bit his five of the guy foul up and just hit it. I saw his nail like Papa, you know, break around the middle. Yeah, I was was I, I was having bleed a little bit in my forearm, so I changed my tape. And but well, I talked to him, he was in third base late in the game. He told me he's he's fine, you know, he's gonna be fine. And break his top of the finger a little bit, so a couple weeks gonna be behind the home play. Everybody good? All right. See you guys. I like that better, you know? Thanks. <laughs> All right, Nick. Big bad Brad for you. Hey, Brad. Uh, how much did the uh, delay in the first inning affect you at all? Um, I mean, I don't think it affected me a whole lot. Um, it was kind of weird. It felt like another up-down, honestly. Um, try to just treat it like another inning. Um, it was really strange, though. I, like, never really – experienced anything like that so that was the first 
take us through that outing. Um, uh, what did you think? Um, you know, I, I felt like I didn't have my best fastball command today. Um, I threw a lot of sinkers today, which was good. Um, uh, mixed in a lot of good change-ups. That got me out of some situations uh, that Arakawa or um, Akiyama, however you say his name, um, the, the double play was a change-up. Um, you know, first pitch Savato was a change-up. So mixed in those and got guys off my fastball. Um, and my slider felt like it was, it was working pretty well. I felt like I got a better feel um, as the game went on. So overall, I felt, felt pretty good. Fell behind a lot of guys, um, which obviously you never want to do. But I felt like I was able to get back in the count and uh, get some outs. Got some big double plays, too. Yeah, no doubt. That was huge. Um, you know, especially in that fifth inning, try and get a shutdown inning. And, you know, first guy gets on with a base hit and then a hit a guy. So first and second, no outs. So trying to get a shutdown. Um, to get a double play out of that was huge, no doubt. Brad, hey Brad on, on, that, uh, on that delay, how good of a look did you get at the umpire's hand? I mean, you said you hadn't seen anything like that. That was pretty disgusting, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty gross. I don't know, I don't know how, it, how he hit the pitch. Like, it, it cut all across the zone, and he, like, foul tipped it, and it went straight into, his, into the tip of his finger, and, like, he was looking down at it, and I, I saw a little bit of blood on his palm, and then he, like, kind of, like, flicked his finger a little bit, and all of a sudden, like, his whole hand got bloody. So, uh, I didn't get to see his nail or anything like that, but um, it looked pretty bad from, the from you know, my view, but it was pretty nasty. And what was your, you know, you're sitting there in the, the ninth inning watching Rosie try to get through this thing. Just take us through the kind of ups and downs of when you're out of the game and you want the team to win and, and how much fun it was to see that double play get rolled. Yeah, no, it's uh, it was huge. You know, our defense was there all night tonight. Like you, like Flaney said, a lot of big double plays all night. And uh, you know, to to get in that situation, bases loaded, one out. Um, you know, time run on third base. You know, just to try to, you know, get two outs as, as quick as you can without running that runner score. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was huge. It was it was stressful watching from the watching from the uh, locker room where you really can't you know do anything. Um, but no, like all the faith in our in the world in our offense or in our uh, defense and, and pitching. So um, that, it was pretty exciting to watch. Brad, what can you say about Salvi? Not only just working with him behind the plate, but seeing what he's doing at the plate too. How 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 impressed are you by the totality of it? Yeah, I mean the guy's in a groove. I mean it's 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 fun to watch. We definitely missed that last year. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, like you said, having the veteran presence behind the plate is huge. Um, you know, him knowing guys and knowing hitters and be able to, you know, go throughout a game and, and like really stick to the sky reports and see things. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and like you said, the play just absolutely dialed in, just laser beams across the field. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. Good. You good? Thanks, guys. All right. Hi, guys. Low for, you know, is taller. Yeah, I know. I'm short. I get it. Nikki, just uh, obviously take us through that that double play and and what you had to how fast you think you think you had to turn that. Yeah, um, I knew any ball that's on the ground, we we have a chance to turn it. Um, bases loaded, crunch, crunch situation. Uh, just got to be ready for it. And um, you know, Franco did a great job, cut it off and uh, put it right on the money, and easy for me to turn. So, how, how big was this win for you guys? I mean, I know it's uh, only nineteen games into it, but uh, after last night's game, to come back and, and gut one out like this. Absolutely, and especially in this ballpark, uh, no team's out of it. Um, as you could see, they, they tacked down a couple of runs quick. Um, but, yeah, big big win for us, a happy flight over to Minnesota, and then we're ready to uh, get back at it against them. Um, big series coming up, and um, I know we're, we're excited and looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully keep this momentum rolling. Thanks, Mickey. Thank you. Nikki, turning turning the double play is, is one of those things that a lot of people don't don't pay attention to. But how much of, of an art is it, and how much do you, do you work on it? Yeah, we work on it a lot, um, almost every single day that we're um, out there taking ground balls. Um, if we're obviously not throwing that day, we don't work on it too much. But almost every single day, we're working on that uh, double play, and um, you know, it's it's not so much me. I, I you know, it's it's easy when I get the ball, and then I just have to turn it, but um, it has to all come together, obviously a good feed. And, um, you know, he, Franco today made money feeds and Monty's always on the money too. So, 
um, it's per, it's it's easier when you get a good feed uh, that's above the waist and um, easy to turn it uh, that way. But like I said, great feeds and um, it's easy to do my job when uh, you know they do that on their part. What's that feeling like when you know that's what you need? You know the base is loaded and that's what you need and the, and it happens. I mean, what's that little split second like when you know this is our chance right here to end this thing? Yeah, you get that little split second. Um, you know, you see the ball going on the ground and you're like, all right, here it is. Um, you kind of envision it a couple pitches earlier when the batter's walking up to the plate, like, hey, ground ball, I gotta, I gotta go to it. And um, you know, if the ball's hit to me, uh, flip it to Mondi, obviously. But um, I knew that if uh, balls hit the left side, I gotta get to the, get the second and um, you know, turn it and. And luckily we did. And obviously in that situation too, it was big. And um, like I said, now we, now we have a happy flight going to Minnesota. Thanks guys. Thanks. So let's get through this so he can eat. Trevor, uh, your, your skipper said you had that all the way. Uh, did, did you feel that way too? Had it, had it what? Sorry. Had it all the way. Oh, uh, I mean, I've definitely experienced that outcome too many times. <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah, never a doubt, you know. And uh, you, if you just watch these games, man, like, it, it's just the way – that inning, I feel like, is such a microcosm of, you know, how our, how our last uh, couple of weeks have been going, man. We've just been fighting so hard. And, um, you know, even tonight, you know, through that seventh inning, um, just watching guys go out there and battle and – and, and under the circumstances that we're in. And so I just, you know, I just had that mindset. Um, wanted to be, you know, just wanted to give my full effort like everybody else. And uh, good things happen, you know, when, uh, when, you, when you approach the game that way. You've been through so many huge games in your career and, and been through so many tight spots. Do you still get that kind of adrenaline when, when, a, when you see a potential double play ball hit like that to, that could end it? Oh, definitely. I mean, every game, you know, every game's – no matter the inning, no matter the situation, you know, getting three outs in the major leagues is, is uh, you know, a big deal to, to me and I think to well, everybody that, that puts on the uniform. So uh, just never take that for granted and, you know, give my best every time. And, uh, you know, seeing the defense make plays behind you, I mean, it, that's – it's – I love strikeouts, but, you know, nothing fires you up more as a pitcher when, when your D is, you know, behind you and got your back. You hadn't walked anybody all season. Um, how strange was it for you to – to feel that you know you you didn't have your best command tonight. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like it, you know the, the obviously the outcomes, the walks wasn't really a good representation necessarily of my command. I think I just I was just trying to be too fine on the corners, you know, um, and it's you know tough with the camera angle, but you know just missing off to those lefties, trying to be too fine. I you know I think with my stuff, I, I have the luxury of being a little bit more aggressive there. Um, but at the same time, you know we got what we wanted and. You know, in this ballpark, you don't, you know, one pitch, they could tie up the game. So I, I don't necessarily think it was completely the wrong approach, but obviously uh, pitching ahead is a lot easier than pitching behind. You just can't give in to some of those guys either, right? I mean, exactly. I mean, you know, they got, you know, those, those two lefties um, at the bottom of the lineup that they, that they put in there. One had already hit a homer, um, you know, and then turn the lineup over. You got, you know, Castellanos coming up and, um, you know, guys that can, can do damage. They've been, they've been super hot this year. And um, yeah, so, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad idea with bases open to, um, to, you know, see if you can get them to chase. And they did a good job. They just did, had good at bats. They didn't, they didn't really bite on anything and uh, they were patient and they had a good approach. Thanks Trevor. Hey Trevor, was there um, any particular message that, uh, that when Mike came out there? I mean, I think we've seen you sort of cruise through a lot of late outings and for him to come out there, was there a particular um, you know, message he needed to convey to you or he wanted to convey to you right there? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, if Cal was here, that would normally be, you know, his spot. Um, but, you know, come, him coming out, I think it was mostly just, you know, a, a reset, a regroup, you, um, you know, then with a runner being on second right there, it's nice to reconvene with Salvi, make sure we got the right signs, make sure we're on the same page. And, again, with Castellanos, you know, uh, want to, you know, just make sure that, I, I'm confident in the pitch that we're going to throw. Oh, oh, and, and and Salvi is too. And um, and then you know, just with the guys in the infield, the guys coming in, Mickey, uh, you know, Franco and and Lopez coming in and just you know showing their support. You know that it's it's always a it's a good you know 
it, it, it pumps you up, you know, to have those guys behind you and, and telling you that they got your back and, and they went out and proved it. Everybody good? All right, good night, everybody. Thanks, we won't guys. Be doing